Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of Wet n Wild makeup. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to be going to my Walgreens and seeing what they've got and picking out a full face. So let's go. Okay, so I just got to Walgreens, got my mask on, and now we're going to go in, start shopping. Okay, so now we're in Walgreens. I'm at the Wet n Wild section. Let's see what we can find. They have primer spray. Let's get let's get the coconut primer water. So now we have concealer. Okay, so I got my whole bag of goodies here. I'm going to, actually I'm gonna go grocery shopping real quick and then I'm gonna go home and we'll try this. See you at home. Okay, so I'm back at home and I have my bag full of goodies here from Walgreens. Um, they ended up having everything. They have a full face from primer to setting spray. So, Gonna do it. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in. I'm gonna put my hair back. So it's not in my face. Okay, it's not look bald here. Okay, a little better. Okay, so for primer, I actually got two. I got the coconut primer water this one and I also got this one the matte I got the dewy foundations I wanted to do a matte base I am a little oily in my t-zone so I didn't want to get too many luminous products so, so satisfying I'm just gonna give it a good shake it. get it going a little The mister is a little strong, but not too bad. Okay, so now that the primer water is all sunk in, I'm gonna go in with the Photo Focus Matte Primer. I'm just gonna start off with that much. Put it in my T-zone, all down my face, and everywhere. Now that it's drying, it feels a little silicone-y. Not on my hand, just a tiny bit on my face, but I don't mind it because it's not very slippery. It's like dried down. It's a very odd feeling. Okay, so for foundation, I got the Photo Focus Foundation, the Dewy one. They have the original and the Dewy. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I have tried the other one. Um, and it wasn't too bad, so I wanted to give this a try. I have the shade Soft Beige. Okay, so this has the same type of applicator. It's like a little spatula that the original one has. I'm not a huge fan of that because I don't like to touch the product, or touch the applicator to my face and then dip it back in. I feel like it's a lot of bacteria. So I'm just gonna take this spatula with this stuff on it and just wipe whatever was on there on the back of my hand and use that to dot it on my face. So I'm just going to keep dotting this on. So I'm going to use a brush to pull this out. I'm going to use the Morphe X Jeffree Star JS1. It's just the foundation brush. I really like this brush.
I do feel like it's a good medium coverage. Um, I do have this spot right here. I'm gonna just take a tiny bit more and just try and build on this spot that I'm having trouble with. There we go, that's much better. So now I have the foundation completely on, I'm gonna go in with concealer. So I have the concealer, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade 835 Fair Neutral. Um, so I have her open, I've never tried this before. So it's a pretty standard um, doe foot applicator. So maybe I did go a little bit too light, but that's okay. I'll make it work. Might brighten up the forehead a little. The nose. Oops. The nose. Keep it bow. Chin. I'm going to use my Tarte sponge and blend that out. A little bit of darkness still um, but it did brighten everything up and it blended out really nicely so I'm pretty impressed with that okay so I added just a little bit more just right in the inner corner I'm gonna blend that out so I really like this concealer um, it blended out really nice. It brightened everything up. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with powder. So I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder and Banana. I am going to just blend out any creases that may have formed while I was sitting here. Also, I'm sorry if the lighting is bad. Um, I'm filming this at nighttime. It's actually 7.57. It's o'clock right now. And I just put in these really bright light bulbs and i can definitely tell it made it way brighter in here um so i know you guys can see me but i apologize it's lighting is not very good i usually use natural light i'm working on getting at least a ring light so i'm going to pour some of the powder just into the cap i'm going to bake so, I hope this doesn't change the color of my concealer. So now I'm just going to take a brush and lightly set the rest of my face because I have no more cream products. Um, I'm going to use the Morphe X Japanto JH06 and just lightly set my face. I'm not going to wipe that powder away just yet. So I'm going to go in with bronzer now. I'm going to use my favorite bronzer brush, the Morphe M581. It's a tapered blender. I got the um, Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Sunset Striptease. I've never tried this bronzer either. I actually have never tried any of these products except for the highlighter. So I'm gonna go in, it doesn't seem like it picked up too much. So I'm just gonna go in again. There we go, I got a little bit of color there. This is my good side, so I love putting bronzer on this side. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, for a second I thought that I wasn't recording. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the color. I think this is a really nice color for me. So next I'm going to do blush. And for blush I got the Wet n Wild, which just says Wet n Wild, in the shade Nudist Society. It's this really pretty peach color. I'm actually really excited about this. So this is my Morphe E4 brush. Just a nice angled blush brush. I'm just going to do a nice tap, tap, tap. Oh wow, I 
actually placed a good amount of color. Okay, I'm a little crazy, that's okay. So I'm actually now gonna take my Morphe E48, it's just a tiny tapered brush, and wipe away that powder. I don't want it to sit there for too long. So now I'm gonna go with highlight. I got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. I haven't tried this shade before. I'm gonna be using my Morphe M501. And I'm gonna do, it picks up a lot. I'm going to apply. So I didn't put too much. I'm just going a little bit more, see if we can build it. Oh wow, you can definitely build this. It's definitely very shimmery. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it in the center of my forehead and drag it down. Okay, so I totally forgot about my nose when I was doing bronzer. So I'm gonna go back in with that bronzer and my Morphe E62. This is just a angled brush that I like to use for nose contour. So I'm just going to dust that, take a little more. Dust that on the sides of my nose. So I'm gonna go back into that highlight now and take my Morphe M431. It's a really tiny definer brush. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that highlight and put it on the tip of my nose. And then drag it up. Okay, so I just put a lot of powders on. I'm gonna spray with some setting spray just to melt in the powders to my skin so I don't look powdery. So I'm just going to go in with that um, coconut 3-in-1 primer water that I use for primer. I'm just going to go around the top. I also do this with a beauty sponge, but I like doing it with a blend of full better. I just tap all over my face to really push in the powders and the setting spray. I'm just going to take my concealer that I used earlier and put that on my eyelids to prime for eyeshadow. So now I'm gonna go with eyeshadow. I got the Wet n Wild palette in VI Purple. On my Morphe M441, I'm going to go in with this transition shade. It's like, and just dust that in the crease. And this concealer actually dries down pretty much like powder. So I don't think I would really need to set it. Just taking a brush with no excess product, the same brush as before. Just a different one. Just to try to blend this out a little bit more. I'm going to next go in with the other transition color, which is this one. It's more of a gray. Put that in the crease as well. Just to add a little bit more definition to the eye. So I'm just going to go in with that first transition shade put that on my lower lash line okay so we're back to filming my phone because my camera battery died so annoying okay so I changed positions because the lighting was really bad over there I really hope the whole video did not have that bad of lighting because I was using my camera but we'll just continue this video out Next, I'm going to take this smaller brush. It's a Morphe M433 brush. And I think I'm going to take this purpley shade right here. So I'm just going to take that and first just pat that in my outer corner. And then pat in my crease just to place the color first. Okay, so I got the purple all over my crease. I'm going to go back in with that transition color and just buff out the buff out the edges of that purple. I'm going to take that purple again and just run that on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to take this shimmer shade on my ring finger. Wow, that is really, really pretty. I really like that color. I'm actually going to go in with this very small flat brush. It's a Morphe M124 and I'm going to dip that into that purple shade, that shimmer, 
And then I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of this primer water. And put some more on to see if we can get any more color payoff. It definitely did a little bit. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and both the eyes are finished. Okay, so now I'm going to do brows and I picked up the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil. I've never tried their brow products. Um, I've tried Elf's brow products and those are nice. Um, this is in the shade Taupe. So it has a spoolie on one side which feels just like a standard spoolie. And oh, okay. It's like a, it's kind of like the ABH brow definer. That's much better. Just gotta work it in a little bit first. And then do the top. Wow, this is a lot faster than it usually takes me to do my brows. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with eyeliner. I got the Wet n Wild 16 hour breakup proof waterproof liquid eyeliner. Um, so I'm just going to do a swatch. Oh. I didn't press very hard. Maybe I need to press a little harder. Oh yeah. No, this is dried out. Let's try this again. Oh, that is much better. Okay, so maybe I just needed to give it a little bit of a chic. Okay, so I'm just going to do a thin line on my upper lash line. I don't know how to do a wing. Um, maybe I'll try it in this video. Should I do a wing? Um, I don't do wings. All right, screw it. We're doing it. I like know how to do it mentally, but like I've never done it on my eyes. Okay, all right. Hey, I'm not mad at it. Oh wait, it's actually really cute. Why didn't I do this a long time ago? All right, I am not mad at it. My very first wing ever. And it doesn't look like crap. Next, I'm going to do my mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes first. This is just a really old Revlon lash curler. For mascara, I picked up the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. I got the shade Brazen Black. Looks like this. Oh. What the? Do you see this? They're very prickly bristles. Yeah, this is dry. I do kind of like the ball on it though because it's small enough where I can get on my lashes. Um, Lash Renegade, you suck. Okay, I'm sorry, but I need to go in with mascara. I have to. So I'm just gonna go in really, really quick with the Essence Lash Princess, the green one. I love this one. Um, Don't tell anybody, but it's not from my mild. Okay, now we're gonna do lips. So I got the liquid cat suit in the shade Rebel Rose. Just a standard lip applicator, just a little divot. Okay, so I guess since I didn't get a gloss, I guess I'm all finished with the makeup. So I got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. I was reading the, I guess this is, I don't know, Spanish sign? I don't know. But anyway, I got the Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. It looks like this. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love it. Um, the eyeshadow came together so nicely. Um, the lipstick is super, super pretty. It matches the eye perfect. Okay, so starting with primer, um, the matte face primer and the primer water. I will be using both of these again. Um, the primer water made my face a little bit tacky, which I like. Um, to put foundation over 
and this actually really mattified my face okay so now the foundation this is the dewy one um i really like this um i haven't been able to wear it for a full day um i'm not going to be able to maybe i'll do this look again tomorrow morning and let you guys know how i like it so next is the concealer i love this um it blended out super nicely it's not heavy it's not cakey Yes, it doesn't cover everything. I still have a little bit of darkness, but this is perfect for the days that, you know, I don't want to wear a full face. I just want something little to cover up that darkness. So next is the powder. Um, I like the powder. Um, again, I'm not going to be able to wear this um, for the day because it's already 9 o'clock at night. But um, I was shocked that the banana worked for my skin tone. Okay, so now the bronzer. I love bronzer. Bronzer is my favorite step in my makeup and I love this one. Um, it blended so nicely. It's not patchy. Um, the color is really, really good for me and I will be using this again. So now the blush. Um, the blush was very subtle, um, but I did like this as well. It's not too pigmented whenever you first put it on and it blends really nicely. So now for the highlighter. Um, I like this. At first I thought it might be a little bit light, but after blending everything together and using setting spray, it really works for my skin tone. I love how it looks and I will be using it again. Okay, so now for the eyeshadow palette. I love the color story. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of um, that gray transition shade in here that was pretty patchy, um, but I did find a way to make it blend nicely. I definitely think it's worth it and I will be using it again. With the brow pencil, I this shocked me. Um, I really, really liked it. I haven't used a brow product that is shaped like this and I liked it. I have pretty full brows already so it just kind of added um, a little bit of the extra feeling that I wanted on the ends and at the beginning of my brow and I really like that it has a spoolie on it. It's really convenient um, and I will be using this again. So now for the eyeliner. I did get a nice application out of it in the end but I will not be using this again no 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 absolutely not it only comes out half the time I don't want to have to you know shake it every two seconds or use it a certain way for it to come out I want to just be able to open it apply it and be done now for the mascara no just no no this was awful. It's completely dry. And I mean, you guys saw it was, the package is right here. It was in its package. I bought it earlier today. And whenever you pull it out, it's just dry. It's like there's no product in there. So yeah, I will not be using this again. I do not like it. So now for the liquid lipstick, um, the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. So far, I like it, and the color is so pretty. I will be using it again. So now for the setting spray. Um, you know, I can't really judge this quite yet. I don't, I mean, yes, it finished my look. It melted some of the products in, but any spray will do that. I did like it, I will use it again, um, but I can't say, I can't recommend it because I don't know how it lasts. I don't know if it even makes my makeup last, um, but I will update you on this. That is everything. Those are all the products. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, this is how the look turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. Um, I love how the look turned out. Let me know if you tried any of these products that I tried today or if there are any more that I should try. Um, I love doing these videos. I love today's video. It turned out so good and I was so shocked by so many different products. Uh, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys.